Nick takes Ollie to meet Dave Anderson, a crayfish aficionado who works from the River Lee in London. Dave is responsible for keeping down the numbers of red signal crayfish that run riot in the river. Do you get a lot of crayfish up here? Look up here. Well, there's a problem. It's been sort of around for about six or seven years. Basically, it started off with a trickle, and now we ended up with a flood. Yeah. Um, is that, and is that the signal crayfish? It's a red though, signal problem that we've got. Yeah. So they're the, they're basically not indigenous, are they? And no. They're... What basically um, they came over about in the mid 70s, I think it started with the catering trade. They brought them in, and certain people farmed them in lakes, right? And etc. Mm. Uh, etc. Et but what they didn't realise were they are amphibious, right? And they make their way across land. I mean, they'll last for about 12 hours out of water. In this country, we don't know much about crayfish. I mean, well, this is the problem. The, the, we know about a lobster. We yeah. know about prawns. Yeah. The tiger prawns, be like. Crayfish is very similar to lobster, but a bit smaller, isn't it, essentially? Yeah, more or less. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a miniature version. Right. Yeah. Langoustine size? Yeah, and, sort yeah. of round about that size. Nice. Uh, so you need you need a few for a meal, right? Yeah? Well, yeah, but Actually, only one yeah, or two, three a person ten. for a starter. Good start, yeah, salad, maybe, do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I mean, the main course, yeah. <clears throat> nice, but I like the sound of that. They sound delicious. Quite sweet, a bit like a langoustine. Yeah, very nice, very nice. I must I'll admit, I have what. indulged now and again myself. And now have I've you? quite tasty. <laughs> Especially the claw meat is superb. Oh. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, let's open the top and see what we've got. It's a vicious, cruel eating machine. And yeah, that's why, cool. you know, I mean, they are nasty people. Aren't you? But that's what you have to do, John. You just, you know, try and take as many out. I find that amazing that there's yeah. these are living all over the place in, in England. Summertime, you're looking at filling that up. Really? You're probably looking at about two and a half kilos per trap. Gee. Yeah. And you could imagine 40 or 50 of these in a night. You've got a lot of crayfish. Yeah, that came my restaurant. Is, how would you present them? Like, like this? All I want to do is whack them in a, in a, you know, in a nice with a bit of aioli or yeah. something. Do you know what I mean? But before Ollie gets carried away, Dave stops him in his tracks. When they come out, they've got grit and dirt and yeah. bits and pieces that they've, they've absorbed from the river. Yeah. These will go in a tub, because otherwise you've got, you've got problems with viral disease and Viles all sorts disease. of other bits and pieces. So once they're purged, they're fine? Yeah, I mean, they are quite edible once they're purged, but yeah. you do not take them lightly. And how do you purge a crayfish? Basically, what they do is they go into clean water tanks yeah. for at least two weeks. Right. And basically, they come out clean. OK. Is there enough crayfish in there for you to actually supply my restaurant? Well, uh, there lies a problem. Most of mine oh. sort of uh, go abroad. But if, you, if, if, you've got, if you're sending, if you're already distributing them, surely I can just come off that at the end of that distribution, distribution well, process? it's not uh, for not me to say, I'd have that. to go into that. We'd have to. So, yeah. but there's people that maybe I could have a discussion with Definitely. and take it further. Definitely. Dave decides to get in touch with the local health authority to see whether it would be possible to supply Ollie with crayfish. If he can, it will be fantastic news. Dave catches enough crayfish to easily supply the restaurant the whole year round. 